So the purple cloud mountain within Black Myth Wukong is a secret area home to three secret bosses, which reward you some amazing loot. In this video guide I will show you exactly how you get to this secret area and the three bosses within this area. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I am giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong. So if you'd like to win one for yourself or a friend, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subs. I'll pick one winner on a weekly basis and announce them at the end of the week from the comment section of my Black Myth Wukong videos. So the more I see you active, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. Okay, so the Purple Cloud Mountain secret area is home to three bosses. These bosses are the Scorpion Lord, the Taoist Mai, and then lastly guys, we do have indeed the Dust Veil. Now these bosses, if I'm honest with you, ain't very hard at all. An exception probably can be made for Dust Veil, but the other two you should walk straight through. Now the rewards for taking out these bosses are very, very cool. The Scorpion Lord gives you the Loong Aura Amplification Pellets. These are found in a chest just below where he lies. But upon you defeating him, you get the Sky Piercing Horn. This is used for the Adept Spine Shooting Fuban Staff. This low can only be crafted in that new game plus uh, through upgrading the Chitin Staff. You do however get the Death Stinger which can be used to craft the Venomous Sting Insect Chest Armor Piece. You also get the Gold Tree Core, uh, you also get the Mine Core and you also get the Stain J Gad which massively increases drinking speed. The Taoist Mai gives you the Violet Hail Spell which allows you to transform into an insane worm with a sword, it's pretty cool. And then the Dust Veil gives you the Weaver's Needle Vessel which is awesome, it reminds me of Yondu's arrow within Guardians of the Galaxy. You get Quen Steel which is a super rare material used to craft mythical weapons. You get the Dustfield's Horn, which is used to craft the Iron Horned Helm. You get two Golden Tree Cores, a Mine Core, and the Double Calm Rooster Blood. Now within this area guys, there's also other items and materials you can find scattered around. Nothing massively important I discovered, but definitely worth your time having a look around nonetheless. So how do you get to this secret area? Well guys, you can do so as soon as you reach Chapter 4. Okay, so to start guys, you need to get to the webbed hollow shrine of the upper hollow. As you progress the game guys, you come to this, you can't really miss it. Now when you are here, you need to make your way to the Shadow Jade Shrine. This isn't easy to find, so follow the path I take on screen now. Okay, so from this shrine guys, we now need to go and fight the first of a two time encounter with the enemy, the Venom Taoist. So following this path you see me take on screen now, you will come to this cocoon which you need to repeatedly hit. Upon you doing this, this boss will spawn in. I will state though it is a simple fight, so do what you gotta do here. Ok 
Okay, so once you've defeated this guy, you now need to progress the game until you reach the Temple of Yellow Flowers. It's a place you can't miss, and uh, this shrine as well, it's one you definitely have to come to. It's called the Court of Illumination. So once you get here guys, follow the path I take on screen now, coming back on yourself as you would have, progressing to find this shrine and travelling up these hills to where you'll eventually come to a slope which you'll have to go down where you'll find this boss is hiding. This is the second encounter you'll have with this enemy. So upon you taking him out, he tells you to go and find that needle and basically creates a path for you to enter into the secret area of the purple cloud mountain. So once you are in here guys, you want to progress slightly forward until you come to a snake on a tree. Here make sure you stop talking and clear out all dialogue with a snake. Then move forward to find the first shrine of Valley of Blooms. So once you are at the shrine guys, follow the path I take on screen now to the first boss of the area we will face and that is the Scorpion Lord. You'll firstly though hit that shrine of Bounds of Deities Abode Shrine and then onto this boss fight. So from this shrine guys, follow the path I take slightly ahead to the Daoist Mai NPC. Hey. 
Now upon you talking to him, he asks you to seek out a Violet Hail item for him. This can be found via you taking out random enemies within this area. So just go ahead and do that. Once you have it, go back to him and now guys you have to fight this dude. Go I won't lie, it's probably one of the easiest bosses I've fought in this game, so you shouldn't have a problem here. Okay, so from here guys, you now just progress forward and upwards and you'll eventually come to the shrine of Cloudness Peak. This is the shrine just before the main boss of this area, the Dust Veil. So this boss, I won't like, could be considered hard. He consists of two phases, the first one being utterly simple, which we all just know just guarantees a second phase, but the second phase is a little harder, mainly because of his projectiles he shoots out while doing some random attacks at the same time. But to be real with you guys, if you made it this far into the game, you shouldn't really have any issue with this guy. So yes, once you take him out, you get all the rewards, the best rewards of this area, and you are done with the secret area of the purple cloud mounting and there we have it guys a complete guide on this secret area the bosses within it and how you get here guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one